So when was the last time you lost your keys or your wallet or simply misplaced them in your own home about two minutes before you're due to be out of the door? Yes, it's moments like these that made me finally invest in a Bluetooth tracker and I wish I'd done it a lot sooner. Now, being a full-blown Apple user, I of course looked at Apple AirTags first, but then I considered the price. Now at £35 a pop for a single AirTag or £120 for a pack of four, these might count as amongst Apple's most affordable items, whatever that means when it comes to Apple pricing, but I thought I could do a lot better. So today I wanted to tell you about one of the cheapest Apple devices you can buy, which isn't actually an Apple device. It's the Atavos Bluetooth Tracker. Now, the reason I'm calling it an Apple device is that it works really well with Apple's Find My App, and therefore it's a really good and cheap alternative to AirTags. And one of the best things about the Find My App has to be that it uses the collective power of about 1 billion iPhone users across the planet in order to create its network, therefore vastly increasing the chances of finding your item. The first thing I liked was the price, which came in at £14 on Amazon. And that's £21 cheaper than an AirTag, which is about three lattes. When it comes to design, it's not as slimline as the AirTag. It's 11 millimeters thick as opposed to the AirTag's 8 millimeters, and it measures 38 millimeters across as opposed to the AirTag's 32. It's sort of square and not round. And the best part is it comes complete with a hole to pop on your keyring. To do that with an AirTag, you have to buy more accessories to go with your accessory. The cheapest holder or fob I could find on Apple's website to go with the AirTag costs $14.95, increasing to an eye-watering £40. You can still, of course, buy cheaper ones online with that same open design so that everybody can see you're an Apple user, giving you a nice sense of self-worth based on your buying choices. That's capitalism. But if you do insist on showing your Apple credentials to the world, you'll have to buy a clear but fully closed design to stop your nice shiny AirTag that you may well have had engraved starting to look a bit ropey. And I went for the black version of the Atavos to avoid that ropiness showing up too much. And I think the white version would start to look very rough very quickly. But this is a Bluetooth tracker and not a fashion statement, so as long as it works, I couldn't care less. Unlike the AirTag, the Atavos comes with an on-off switch. Press for three seconds to turn on or off. Now you may want to turn it off just to stop tracking or save battery. Seeing as it contains a really cheap and easily available three volt battery, which lasts up to a year, that doesn't seem to be much of a problem. But given this is a Find My compatible device, what is the experience of using Find My actually like with it? Well, the good news is just as good as an AirTag and in some cases even better. Just remember that when you open the Find My app, you'll find the Atavos under items and not devices. Just like an AirTag, you'll have the option to name your item. And I chose the wacky name of keys for my keys. And just like an AirTag, you'll be able to choose to be notified when you've left an item behind. And why wouldn't you? You can also choose to share an item with friends and family so that they can join in the finding fun. And even if for some reason your Atavos is turned off and someone finds your item, it can still be scanned via NFC to identify you as the owner. And if you've provided your telephone number in the settings, they can then call you to reunite you with your item. And the good news is that when the Atavos is scanned via NFC, it automatically turns back on. So if for any reason the person who finds your item doesn't call you, you can track it yourself and ask them in person why they didn't call you. Unless, of course, they're much bigger than you and heavily armed, in which case it probably wouldn't be a good idea. The only thing you don't seem to have is that Apple pinpoint finding when you're really close to an item. But just like Apple devices, when you are near the Atavos, it lets out a pretty loud beep. In fact, it's about 10 decibels louder than the AirTag at 94 decibels. And if you are nearby to it and blessed with reasonable hearing, you should really be able to pick it out, especially if you're at home. The only snag, as far as I can tell, that I've seen a lot of complaints about online is that when it comes to changing the battery on the Atavos, you have to use something really thin and sharp, like a pen knife, to open it up, often causing lots of scuffs and scratches whilst doing so. Now, I've only had mine for a few weeks, so I haven't had to open it yet to change the battery, but I have to say, for those reasons, I'm not looking forward to it. But at the end of the day, this thing is much cheaper than an AirTag and seems to work just as well, so the trade-off might be worth it. It's really not that big or awkward in comparison to an AirTag. It works great with the Find My app, and the locator beep is satisfyingly loud. What more do I need from a Bluetooth tracker, and for a lot less money than an AirTag? And now that I am a fully-fledged Bluetooth tracker convert, I think I might also try the Atavos AirCard tracker for my wallet. 
But as usual, I'd like to know what you think. If you're an Apple user, would you always go for an AirTag or would you consider something cheap and cheerful like the Atavos? If so, just let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, why not like, share and subscribe? And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.